Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to uh, go over the recent update by IQSTEL, ticker symbol IQST, released yesterday on uh, their progress towards their $90 million revenue forecast. Uh, it says that uh, the business development, business development initiates progress update. Um, it says that the acquisitions of Whistle and Smart Biz are completed and the operations are being integrated into the IQS Telecom brand the way that uh, the same way that ITW acquisition was integrated previously in May. Whistle and Smart Biz combined are anticipated to add $11.6 million in annual revenue and $1.3 million positive net income. Organic sales growth combined with revenues acquired through merger and acquisitions keep IQS Tell on track to surpass the 2022 $90 million revenue forecast. The addition of higher margin sales and the systematic streamline of existing operations continue to improve the bottom line, keeping the company on track to be net income positive by year end of 2022. Beginning 2023, management anticipates IQS Tell to continuously deliver earnings. The company remains prepared to execute its NASDAQ uplisting plan once the market conditions improve to permit the IQST share price to organically increase to the required minimum listing price. IQS Tell's previously announced IoT Labs, which stands for Internet of Things Business, a field test with prominent Fortune 500 chemical company is proceeding in a new business development in the ongoing project is imminently anticipated. IQS Tell's Global Money One FinTech business line continues to grow with new partnerships beyond uh, the uh, Kutsa Guatemala Cooperative under development. IQS Tell's EVOS EV motorcycle business now has motorcycles in Texas, Miami, Panama, Venezuela, and Spain all receiving good reviews. IoT Labs, Global Money One, and EVOS are anticipated to begin making high margin revenue contributions in the second half of 2022. The recently announced proposal from a third party to buy the EVOS division, which IQS Tell declined, has alternately resulted in the company's independent board of directors approving an initi initiated, I'm sorry, approving an initiate to uh, spin off the EVOS and to be separately listed on NASDAQ. Interesting. So they'll build your own, kind of actually their own thing here. That, that'll be something to kind of keep an eye on. IQST's M&A campaign continues to be current uh, with a due diligent effort underway intended to lead to the acquisition of two point, I'm sorry, 2,300 miles of fiber optic network in America. IQST had the good fortune and foresight to construct a growth platform prior to the onset of prevailing the economic conditions. The company is currently enjoying strong growth and expects to continue experiencing strong growth throughout the year when the economic cycle turns back towards growth and expansion. IQS Tell expects to be well positioned to capture market attention. IQS Tell's management still contends that the best is yet to come. Very, very, very exciting. And the, to me, the most exciting thing about this um, is the share price. Okay, I know the share price is down, um, but that's exciting for us longs because, man, you can get, um, you know, it's such a such a great deal in my opinion. I mean, 36 cents, maybe 37 cents at the time of me making this video. And like I've been saying ever since I've been covering IQST is uh, 50 cents or below is a strike zone for me on this particular stock. Okay, and we're due for a little pop to the upside. And this makes for even, you know, an interesting swing play is, you know, buy here and then sell at, you know, around the 50 cent mark because we may get rejected. But for the longs, uh, this, in my opinion, man, this is a steal. Okay, we talk about uh, Zinal and gas right now at a steal of, you know, 20 to 29 cents or 20 to 25 cents. This right here, guys, this is a steal because uh, you got a company that's about to produce or exceed $90 million in revenue. Okay, this is a freaking steal, man. Like 36 cents, come on. You, you could easily, you know, within the next six months, uh, th this can be at least a double up play in my opinion, right? So my plan actually uh, for, you know, for the longer term, for the next six to eight months is, you know, if Zidol and Gas does, you know, pop heavy and, and we get some good news and it has that bigger run up, 
is I'm going to take a lot of those profits, guys, and I'm going to roll it into this stock here because I'm going to actually be able to double, in my opinion, you know, not financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, but I should be able to double whatever I make from there off of this play as well. Um, it just may take some time, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, guys, that's, that's the update. Let me go ahead and take a look at the charts and let's see what they're telling us. All right, guys, taking a look at IQS tail, ticker symbol IQST. Again, we are kind of at the bottom of the bottom of the FIB level for the 180-day four-hour. We do have some strong support down here at about 33 cents. Okay, as you see, we bounced off of 33 once. We bounced off of 33 twice. And then we're about to uh, potentially come down and retest 33 again. Like I was telling you, anything in this channel here is a buy zone for me, which I'm going to be looking to buy some more probably next week. But I think we may could potentially pop our head and go down to about 33 again and pop right back up. But those of you who are looking for a swing play, and this may be one that I do, you know, in my swing trading account, as uh, those of you who follow the channel know, I have a new account now where I'm just swing, I'm doing swing trades, right? And, um, and I'm just trying to base it solely off of percentages. And I've swung AMC four times so far with an average of about 5% gains or four and a half percent gains roughly and every time i get to about four and a half anywhere from four to ten percent i'm taking profits and i'm just renting and repeating and i'm going to do that and just see how, how high i can grow it so this is one in my opinion that uh, if we go down here to about 33 cents we'll be undervalued and then it's going to pop its head right back up probably to about to 40 to 45 cents and it may continue to just do that trade up and down in this channel for the longest time until it decides to move or whenever the markets start really correcting, uh, that when it, this, this whenever this may start correcting as well. I'm not sure. We'll have to just wait and see. But you can see here, guys, that whenever we have, you know, these run-ups from IQS tail, you know, IQST, um, we can we can have a, a pretty <laughs> significant run-up, as you see here, from 44 cents to a dollar five, and then of course we fell back down right afterwards. So you got to be prepared to take profits at that point. Uh, but it's not the first time it's done that. And that's several times it'll go to, you know, over a dollar. And then it'll fall back down. And all of a sudden, it'll start making its way back up, shoot back to a dollar above, and then fall back down. So until we get some stability and uh, we stay above a dollar, um, you know, I would say that this one makes for a really, really good swing play. Just know that it takes time, right? Unless you can catch it on that momentum and that move to the upside, you may just have to kind of nibble at it at these levels here. And then once it starts moving, you can enjoy you know the the gains and then you can cash out this is a huge gain right from 30 something cents to a dollar um it doesn't look like much as far as you know price wise however percentage wise it's actually pretty pretty impressive so anyway guys just want to provide you that update let me know your comments below on iqst other than that we'll catch you in the next one